Hey everybody, happy Saturday. You'll see this on Monday. Um, welcome back, glad you're here. Welcome to our new subscribers. For those of you who are new, I am Lisa and this is Yogi Hollow Farm and we're on our homesteading farm journey and we're having a lot of fun. It is about 30 degrees today, so not bad compared to the sub-zero temps we had a while back. And we picked up a pallet of hog feed and got a good discount on it. And so that's what we did this morning really early. And that's where we ended up having to put it. So we are ready and we are waiting for some snow to come, supposedly three to six inches. But in the meanwhile, what we're gonna do today is get the brooder ready. It's probably about two weeks early, but we wanna be ready. And you know, it's been that kind of day where it's cold out, we haven't gotten a lot done so far, so we're working on getting stuff done. And when you work full time, which we both do, we wanna be able to have it ready so that way when the chicks come home, we're good to go. We're expecting 10 chicks, and then we ordered some turkeys. All right, so let's get the brooder set up. If you've been following our channel, you know that we try to use what we have. And what we have is a truck box, and that's what we use as a brooder, and we attach it to two sawhorses and secure it that way, and then we hang lights from up above, and we're gonna do that now. Now I just need to wait for Ryan to come back to help me lift the box. Be right back. is all set up that's how quick it is we use an old truck box which is a great idea because when the chicks are all done then all we do is take it outside hose it down put some cleaner on it like some vinegar and let it dry and it's good to go we've got our two heat lamps going we'll put our shavings in it as we get closer like I said it's about two weeks away we've got those two boards there because we usually put the feeders on them and I'll get the feeders and out of the barn and clean them up in the meanwhile but we also put them in this room because this room is insulated and we then run a space heater as well as the heat lamps for when it's colder at night here because we're going to have cold temperatures probably till May. 
So that way the chicks are in a good place, they're safe. As the chicks get bigger, we put some hardware cloth across the top and we put some weighted items on it. That way they don't jump out of here and we don't find them stranded on the floor. Let's go see the chickens. As you can see, we still have quite a bit of snow in a lot of places and then we're lucky enough not to have as much snow so we can walk around. The girls are not happy because there were owls on the property last night, so I've not let them out today because I don't want any of them to disappear. But we'll go see how many eggs they've got. Hello, ladies. Hello. I did a video on that block in the rubber bucket there and they don't, they eat it, but not a lot. They don't seem to be a fan of it. But they're noisy today, as always. And they're dirty, look how dirty she is. That white one right there. You filthy. I think some of it has to do with the bag bomb. Watch out ladies. Some of it has to do with the bag bomb because it attracts dirt and then they just get filthy and it doesn't, doesn't go away. Watch out ladies. Watch out, ladies. If you can see this but they're all at my feet jumping up at the bag making noises and watch this you've seen it before if you've been watching us they're about oh easy chickies ready go <laughs> they love their treats i'll even give you the rest of the bag I don't know if you can see it, but the pigs are having a fun time rooting up their yard. I'm gonna get out here and clean before the snow comes. I haven't done that yet. But our pigs are just like our bulldog. I don't know if you can see them in there. Hard to see, I'm sure, but they're laying in there. The pig yard are all clean. I raked it out, mucked it out. So they're good to go. I have a question and I'm hoping someone will comment down below and let me know. Some people say you don't need to clean out your pig yard because the pigs will poop in one area. These two are going everywhere, everywhere, except in one side of the barn. So let me know what the proper thing to do is. Clean out the yard periodically to keep the animals healthy, or am I doing something I don't need to do? Please comment down below. I'd really, really appreciate it. And Maggie, you can see it. She knocked the heating element out of the water again. And there's Winston. It is starting to snow and I'm cold and I'm done and I'm going in. So I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Like I said, you'll see this on Monday. 
So thanks for watching to our new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing to our old subscribers. You're the bomb. And we really appreciate everybody. So thank you very, very much for all your support. And we look forward to moving forward. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Stay warm.